All right, El Paso, I am taking a special trip today to the northeast side of town to record what used to be a very prominent uh, shopping center, which is now a ghost town. It is Sunrise Center. For those of you who have been here in El Paso for a while, then you are familiar with uh, Sunrise Center. And you can see behind me, it is, which used to be a very busy day, is now a dead ghost town. So let's do a quick walkthrough. What up, Steven? My brother, check it out. We're in the northeast side. I'm going to walk through this thing real quick to show you guys what exactly is out here still. Um, again, I, I've been here for in the northeast part of El Paso most of my life. And I used to come here when I was young. And this place was like the place to be in El Paso. And we used to have a pet store here. We used to have a good German restaurant over here. We used to have first cafeteria over on this side. We used to have a lot of good things here. And it was vibrant. And it was uh, good shopping. You can come here and find anything you want. We used to have an arcade I, 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 over here. There was an arcade for a while over here. A video game arcade. And now what you guys are seeing is what happens to shopping centers that uh, don't get maintained properly and um, business starts moving elsewhere and you look at this location right here it's right off the freeway it's not too far off of Dyer As you see actually you can see in the distance there the cars that are there's I-10 um, I-10 is in the background over there and up front the cars in, in the street in front is going to be uh, Dyer so you can see that there is, uh, it's not far from the freeway, so there's not that bad of access, but you look at this location here, and you see what's happened here. There is nothing here. There's a temple, praise temple, free gospel church there. Uh, whatever that is, March of Dimes, it looks like it's right there. Keeping it real thrift store. They moved from uh, Central, another part of town over here. Um, but you have an empty store there and empty, everything is empty. There's no cars uh, Fias, I think Fias closed down uh, I don't know if the beauty store still it looks like there's cars there beauty. Well, you could sell blood <laughs> You can come out here and sell some blood if you need some money uh, At the plasma center then of course you got to have a, do a dollar store and right next door is a tax doctor I don't know if that's open. I don't even know if, what, if it's seasonal um I think well you got Sally's Beauty Supply uh, still open looks like and of course another dollar store Dollar General and I don't know what that is there Hollywood something but back in the day we had everything here over here was um, big lots where the now leasing sign is which was at one point called um, pick and save as well just recently there was a, a food market in this store at the one on the left and that one's gone um we have nothing here now this is the northeast side of town this is this is where we could have built this great entertainment district that that is building being built at cohen stadium we could have uh, the city could have done something and, and made a deal with this owner and 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 put it right here right here you have buildings already all you got to do is refurbish all this stuff and gut it out and maybe heck even flatten it out flatten it out and we could have put the uh the new arena where the Cohen Stadium is being built right now instead of trying to shove it downtown. So you can see this is a prime real estate and there's nothing here guys. There's absolutely nothing here. There's a church which is great but there's no business here. There's nothing. Yeah Tina, Furs Cafeteria was here. My mother used to work in First Cafeteria for years. Right, right, right there, right? You see right, right where it is. You can still see the paint from where uh, the restaurant was. Well, let's go take a look at some of this. This is, it's just saddening to see uh, such a place. Like when I grew up, when I first got here back in 70 something, man, I used to come here with my mom all the time, shopping and all that good stuff. With the, you know, they had a, a, a what was it over here? There was a, what was this, Smith's or something right here where they had pets. They had all, it was like a Walgreens kind of thing, but they had like birds and all kinds of other stuff in there. Uh, fish where I used to get I actually got one of my birds my parakeets from there and I got a some fish But then over there like I said there wasn't there was a German restaurant you could see 
that it's still kind of there. You see if I'm looking at it. Yeah, there it is. There's the they still have the German design outside for the German food, which is dead and gone. And here you have a club. I don't even think this thing exists. Uh, what's it called? Free something. I don't know. Free Freelands. I don't know. Let's see if this thing is. You can't see in there. But it's uh, it's boarded up. What is this? Bar and grill, boarded up. Here's a keeping it real thrift store. You know. <laughs> This, fa in fact, it's not even here anymore. It's empty. This thing is, I don't know if you can see in there. Look at that. Completely empty here also. There it is. Empty also. Everything is dead here and gone. Super dollar is gone. Everything is gone. Sunrise Center is a ghost town. It's, it's, it's totally empty. God, can you imagine if what we could have put here instead of reinvesting and spending twice as much, three times as much money at that Cohen Stadium to tear it down? This was ready to go. Look, this is all ready to go. They could have taken this, worked the deal out for less money probably. The city could have used, put the stadium, the arena they're fighting for. They could have put it at Cohen Stadium instead. What do we got here? Stork's Nest. Can't see in there empty there's buckets i don't know it's like they just abandoned it's like an apocalypse happened and everybody just picked up their stuff and left uh, okay there's another church praise temple church so there's two churches or is this no this is the same one let's see what else we got this is see this is the first cafeteria you guys have, are you guys familiar with this this is the uh this is the same color pattern that they had for years here and i spent many a day here with my mother who used to work here uh, <laughs> decent food. It's like a, it was like a Luby's kind of setup. Uh, it was not bad, not bad. What do we have here? This is, I guess, this is still good. Nope. Look at, it. it's not even here anymore. We've moved to our new church. Our new address is sixty twenty thirty Dyer. So even they, they've left. So the church isn't even here no more. Okay, so that's gone. <laughs> Here's an empty lot here. Gone. So what worries me, guys, is we saw what happened to North Park Mall. It was similar to this. It got raised. It got torn down. This is a notice of forbidden entry because we have a uh, another empty store here. But what worries me is, guys, is what's going to happen here is exactly what happened with Northgate, which was what, what it was called, Northgate. Then it turned to North Park, is they decided that, okay, no businesses were there. What do we got here? We got a, a thrift store, but it says for lease. There's a sign here that says for lease, but there's stuff inside. And this was the, I don't know, it's called B Gina's Banquet Hall, but I think that's an old sign. I don't know what happened there. Anyways, there's stuff There's stuff inside. There's, there's clothes and, oh, can't see. There you go junk in there just old old used clothes and there's a the coffee makers whatever it's the stuff people donated i think and for the thrift shop anyways what i'm concerned about is the idea that they're going to tear this thing down or they're going to do exactly what they did over in the northgate area which is nothing more than destroy it and partially build it up later and they haven't even completed it yet. It's not even close to being completed. There, in fact, some constituents were complaining to Representative Sam Morgan the other day that they need to finish that project before they start other projects because that's what they continue to do. And that's what's going to happen here. They're going to come over here. They're going to destroy these buildings, and they're going to do nothing with it. Here was the Sunrise Game Comics. That was a big spot for a lot of years. And that one is gone as well. So this is gone also. We have a Final Touch Barbershop down here. I don't know if this is open. It looks like it's got business. Yeah, and there is business in there. You're the only business here. <laughs> Everything else is closed. That's nice though. You guys are keeping this place alive. Have a good day, guys. All right, so the barbershop is still here. All right, well, we got a driving school here. And that's it on this side. It's completely empty over here. But yeah, again, that's the concern I have. 
and it's valid and there's another store there actually this rest this right here was a place called house of taste or is that it no that's not it house of taste is still there okay if you have well is it even open okay there's over there in the distance if you're in el paso guys this is called house of taste this restaurant right back there in the back house of taste they make italian and mexican food it's pretty cool it's good stuff i haven't been there in a few few about a year but it's good stuff but this here restaurant is closed too uh, you have an elote place there to get some corn. I think they got corn there. But over on this other side, you have a few shops. And let's go see if anything, any of these are actually open or they're just still signs that are signs that are just there. But yeah, back to what I was saying. If you guys have been in the Northeast as long as I have, then you understand what's happening. And um, the city took North Park Mall and they were they had all kinds of different ideas of what they were going to do with it and when they decided to finally put that bus uh, transfer station on there uh, they neglected the rest of the uh, property so there's just piles of dirt that's a project that hasn't been finished and but yet they're, they're ready to move on other projects without finishing that so we have unfinished projects here in the Northeast that need to be completed and get the taxpayers money what they supposed to what they're supposed to get instead of only doing what the what the what the wealthy billionaires want them to do so okay so we got metro pcs here then we got uh called tough times that was a thrift shop i remember i had some tough times in my life and i think i came to tough times a few times <laughs> but it's a cool name um completely empty in there can't see much it's empty and then you have the shorties Shorty's lingerie shoes and clothing and they're open uh, this is a clearance sale going on but the door is locked so they're not in they're, maybe they're it's supposed to be today to seven o'clock but they're closed all right nobody's there and this one's empty next to it I don't know what was there okay so all this stuff on this side is empty uh, tax doctor is here, but oh, they actually have a sign. They actually are in business Monday through Friday, 10 to 5, 9 to 12. So the tax doctor looks like they're in business still. I don't know how, how long. What are we in? Ju June? July? July? All right. And we have uh, another, I guess this is a clothing store here. Dollar plus. All TV dinner. TV dinners. I guess they sell food in there. Oh yeah, it's a little market, like a little dollar store kind of thing. You can't really see. It's a little shop here. All right. And then what do you have over here? Okay, here's the blood plasma center. This is the exit here. And people come and donate their blood. Uh, Heck yeah, Georgette, I go to a secondhand store even now just to go help out and go see what I can find and good buys there. And there's nothing wrong with a secondhand store at all. Tough times come upon you, you need help. There they are. Again, here you go, man. This is a plasma center. Here's another type. You have, you have if you're in tough times, they were there. They moved, they moved down the way, but there's tough times. If you need money, come give your blood and then go buy clothes next door at the thrift shop. <laughs> but they're closed down. So there, there's no more. They even tough times had tough times, and then Sook's Sook's Beauty is closed. This, I think, this is where we had that arcade when we were younger. I think this is the place. Um, it looks like it, but it's 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 empty now. As always, as all everything else. And here, guys, this is a lot of people in the Northeast remember this. This is the the German restaurant. Oh, there's some broken glass. We can look in there. All right, so yeah, you remember the, the German restaurant, you remember this. It's empty, it's destroyed. There's a pigeon made his home there. Hey buddy, he's happy. There's another one up there. So they've made their homes here and they probably has their nests up there and doing their business. Anyway, oh, more empty stores. This place is just terrible guys, look at this. Just terrible, completely empty, for exception of a few stores. And a lot of these cars are only the employees, because there's nobody here uh, doing business, that's for sure. All right, let's see. 
Okay, oh, there's another empty store. There's a computer there though, a computer monitor. See, it's weird, it's like there's registers, like people just picked up and left some of the stuff in the stores where they were working. Look at this, this, is, uh, this was Fias, right? I think this one is, was Fias here, yeah. They were closed down because they started losing money. Uh, Sally Beauty Supply, I think you can always find Sally somewhere. Sally's is always gonna make money. Doesn't matter where you live. Sally's Beauty is always gonna be a money maker. But they're, they're one of the last tenants here at Sunrise Center. Uh, see, yeah, they're still they're still kicking. They're still doing good work. All right. Well, I don't have hair and I don't wear makeup, so I don't spend money there. And then we have Dollar General. Of course, you got to have a Dollar General everywhere. Here's a Dollar General here, and then we got over here. How you doing, man? All right, I'm about to doing all right. Doing a tour of the ghost town. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this place was, but it's 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 painted and it used to be a bingo hall. That was the bingo hall, that's right. Yeah, yeah this was a bingo hall and this thing's shut down. Yeah, well, everything is used to be, used to be, used to be. And this one is here Cypress Data Systems. I don't know, I think they might have been computer repair or something like that. And then we end the side of the mall with the uh, Hollywood Nails and they're busy. They got business there. They have business. So if you need your nails did, here you come, you come to the nail spot. So see, you got Sally Beauty Supply down there, the nails place here, the Dollar General. You got some businesses here. Of course, they're not, you know, really appealing to everybody, but there's some few straggling stores. And again, we went across the street. Now, that stiff store in the end there, that, that we're over here going on, that one called the Enjoy, the Enjoy Thrift Shop, that was a really good friend of mine, lovely man, uh, Dr. Joe Poe and his wife, Eleanor Poe. They started this thrift shop uh, because they have a, they had a, in, in, a, in downtown El Paso, in the Segundo Barrio, they had a, a uh, on Saturdays, they would give free medical care to anybody who didn't have health insurance. And it was run out of a church. In fact, that's what they started. They started their they started their health center, their, their medical care, um, before the church started. And what they did, man, has to have been over 10 years ago now. They started this thrift shop here to raise money to support their, uh, their, their, their medical center, their little uh, free clinic. And, uh, well, they went out of business because they weren't getting enough uh, business. And that at the time, right here was Big Lots, so they were kind of getting customers that would come to big lots they would come over after they would go to the and they would go to the thrift shop but what happened is they built a new shopping center in, in northeast side uh on the on the, on the 54 north big lots moved over there and so that kind of just killed everything off here that was left so if you have the the texas uh, wick that looks like they're open it's a brand new sign it looks like you see if the wick station is still here oh, hey guys let's see Here's their schedule. This is a July calendar, so it looks like it's it's open. Oh, and they have they have their stuff in there, so this is still alive. Okay, so the Wick Center is live. All right, and what is this? This is Elvia's New Vision Hair Salon. Well, what is this? This is a little another little market for groceries and such, little chips and stuff. That's open still. And then the Elvia's hair salon. So you can get your hair done, you get your nails done, you can come here and get that done. But you're not going to get much else because everything else is closed. So that's what we have here, guys. That's that's what is happening in the northeast side. They're they're going to raise Cohen Stadium, which they've already torn it down. They're going to build a a water park there that's that we already showed the other day in a video is going to lose two hundred thousand dollars a year because that's there's not profitable those are their numbers not mine i haven't done my numbers yet but they're going to lose two hundred thousand so i imagine it's going to be more than that they're going to lose and they're going to build uh they're going to build a bunch of shops over there off of our dollar off of tax dollars and allow businesses to come in to take more of our money uh, tax dollars. So instead of using something like this where they could have probably made a deal with the owner of this property and gut this stuff out and clean it up and start here and they could build their little water park right here in the middle that already has all the infrastructure ready to go 
right? They could have built a water park there. They could have had all this parking here. They could have held, they could have built a little parking garage here or over here or in the corner over there. They could have saved millions of dollars had they already taken this property and re reused it. But instead, the city in their own little twisted mind had to do their own thing and, try, and cost us triple the amount of money than what it would have been to just, you take this property and buy this property and use it. Um, but then again, I'm not in the city council yet. <laughs> Hopefully one day I will be. But from what I see now as a, as a taxpayer and a consumer, I look at this place and it worries me because this, this is an empty spot and this is a very busy street, Dyer Street, and this is the north part of Dyer Street. And uh, it could have been used for something much, much more effective, much more better than tearing down the baseball stadium where they could have used that to make the soccer stadium. Uh, or hell, yeah, they could have made a soccer stadium or they could have put their arena there, saved them, uh, you know, uh, El Paso lots of money doing it this way. But nonetheless, this is what we have. This is the empty ghost town, guys. This is what's happening in the northeast town part. For those of you who have lived here for a long time, this is sad to see because we used to see this place hustling, man. This place used to be busy and have lots of, lots of uh, businesses here that would thrive. And it just has been allowed to go down and to do nothing and to just, well, what you see here. Well, I wanted to take a tour for you guys because a lot of you haven't been out here in a while. And there you have it, that Sunrise Center, the ghost town it is. All right, guys. Well, I just wanted to show you that. While I was on my way, I was driving by and decided to stop by and just take a look. And there you have it, guys. This is the northeast side of El Paso. This is Sunrise Center. I am Ben with Sun City Live Streams. And thank you guys for watching. And share this and show people uh, in your family what's going on over here if they haven't seen this in a while. And ask them the question. Say, don't you think this would have been a great idea to put a water park here if that's where they're going to put a water park? We already had the property. It's got parking, it's got light, electric, electrical, it's got plumbing, it's got everything it needs, you know. But that's just me thinking as a, as a commoner and, and a taxpayer with some common sense, I guess. Nonetheless, guys, thank you for watching. Please share Sun City Livestreams. This has been, I will talk to you soon.